Hi guys, Asmo here and today I'm going to share with you tips and tricks for leveling your secondary characters much faster. I'm going to talk about the recently buffed unique items and other tips and tricks and tech that you can use to level much much faster, be much more powerful and also be able to level with whatever skill you want because of course we all know that we can level with the meta skills very very quickly but a lot of people prefer to play with the intended build right from the start and in order to make that process a little bit easier and more comfortable and also already be able to experience the build with a decent level of power it is nice to use specific uniques that will allow you to do that so first i'm going to talk about the level one uniques then i'm going to talk about the, the um higher level uniques that you can use and different items and different tech that can facilitate a much a more streamlined leveling process uh, and allow you to basically blast through the content like you're already pretty much at a full build because some of these items I tell you are extremely overpowered and some of these items are also overrated uh, like for example tabula right tabula is an item that is like one of the most overrated items for leveling uh, I virtually never level with a tabula there are so many better options the problem with tabula is that it doesn't give you any other stats um, and even like the only reason to level with tabula perhaps would be if you had like a plus two or plus four tabula that would apply to specific gems especially if it's like a plus four uh, that could be really nice but usually the mana cost is going to be uh, very high and so right away you don't want you don't even have that many uh, support gems that you could possibly even put to have a six links six link at early levels so that's why it's kind of redundant and it's much better to use something like this like the thousand ribbons the recently buffed thousand ribbons gives you uh, all resistances up to 30 gives you life gives you mana energy shield evasion so huge amount of stats gives you flat damage for spells and attacks so it doesn't really matter what you attack with or cast spells with uh, and then it also gives you level 5 elemental proliferation which is very helpful because you can freeze entire packs you can ignite entire packs so whether you're playing with like ignite or freeze uh later on uh I, for example i was playing with uh, um frost blink uh socketed into this and my frost blink was freezing entire packs i was dashing through so this is a very very powerful item that i recommend early on uh, getting a five link uh, is very very cheap you can just benchcraft a five link on it and uh, and you're, you're just you're done for the entire campaign pretty much right it's a very very powerful item right now and i definitely recommend it another less known option for a chest is to use skin of the loyal skin of the loyal gives you plus one to level of socketed gems and it doesn't have a level requirement you can put in this empower level one level one empower has requirement level one uh, so you can start with it right away and it's going to give you plus one to the level of socketed um, gems and plus one to the level of socketed active skill gems and then at level 10 you can put empower level two into this and that's going to give you plus two levels so it's going to be total plus three to your active skill gem so plus three uh very cheaply this chest uh costs like i don't know like 10 20 chaos uh so you just need to make sure that you're gonna find the colors that you are going to be using and you're gonna be set so this is another option that you have for leveling with a chest uh, then we've got other items that you can equip from level one that are extremely powerful such as for example goldrim everybody knows about goldrim everybody knows about um, the wanderlust and sometimes you're gonna find like things like wanderlust uh, or goldrim or things like that with enchants on them so let me see if i have uh, like an enchanted item somewhere here um that I can find so I have an enchanted item here doesn't really matter but there is a modifier here uh, that allows you to remove enchants right remove enchantments and this works from unique items so you can see I remove the enchantment you can do this on unique items you can do this on anything so if you have like an enchanted pair of wanderlusts or enchanted pair of the seven league step you can very easily remove this at the cost of three scours at your crafting bench so don't worry if that happens uh, seven league step of course are the premier leveling boots 50 percent movement speed is unbeatable uh, and then i recommend also grabbing some white sockets on your leveling gear if you have like a spare vorici bench of lower tier because you're running betrayal uh, and you don't know what to put in it just put some leveling gear into it get some white sockets and it's going to help you in the future because while leveling you often swap the uh, swap the gems in and out so that is very very helpful 
Another level one item that you can use is Loctonial Caress. This gives you up to 15% increased attack and cast speed. It gives you a frenzy, a power and endurance charges on kill. And it also reduces your maximum mana by, by between 10 to 15%. So this is something that can really help boost your character early on. Later on, there are better options though for gloves, but early on, this is very, very nice at level one. Another option at level one that is generic and pretty much usable on any character and pretty much the best option on any character is the Darkness Enthroned belt. Darkness Enthroned allows you to put Abyssal Jewels into this and the modifiers on these Abyssal Jewels are being multiplied uh, by 1.75, right? So if you have like 10 to all elemental resistances, you're actually getting 17. Do that times two and you have 34 to all resistances, pretty much a gold rim on top of other stats that you're getting. You can get life, right? So every 10 life equals actually 17 life, right? So this is, uh, again, above more than 30 life. You can have like, you can have 60, 70 life uh, coming from the jewels. You can have resistances. You can also have a really cool modifier that I'm going to show you here, which is increased movement speed if you haven't taken damage recently or increased movement speed if you've killed recently, right? Those are two amazing modifiers. So when you're searching for these jewels, just make sure to uh, put in item level requirements, maximum level two, uh, and then just do whatever whatever kind of uh, modifiers you want. Do, uh, do like maximum count of like one, two or three, whatever uh, you're aiming for. And then you can find so many cool things. You can find just huge damage for minions with resistances. You can find flat damage to attack skills with whatever weapons you're using, attack speed, accuracy, tons of resistances, tons of attributes as well. So you can have very high attributes. You can have life, a mana regen, a life regen, uh, so many really cool things. But I really like this modifier of 4% uh, increased movement speed if you haven't taken damage recently, because that jumps up to seven. And on two jewels, that gives you 14% movement speed. And this one, I have uh, area of effect because that's gonna be something useful for my specific character, uh, but that's uh, a very, very powerful leveling option. Next powerful leveling option is the Black Heart Rings. The Black Heart Rings are absolutely ridiculous right now. They have been buffed and you can also use catalysts on them. So normally they go uh, between 10 and 15 to 20 and 25. So I have here 15 to 25 chaos damage to attacks on top of the regular one to four physical damage to attacks and up to 15 life regenerated per second, which is absolutely massive. You can catalyze these with the very cheap attack catalysts, and you can see it goes 18 to 30 chaos damage to attacks, absolutely ridiculous amount of damage. And two of these go very well with something like chance to poison support, which early on is going to uh, give you ton of damage. You're going to be poisoning like every other attack and you're going to be doing a bunch of uh, damage to, uh, to the enemies. Like this is ridiculous, right? These rings add a huge amount of flat damage. Flat damage is super powerful early on. So uh, if you don't have uniques in certain slots, like for example, amulet or or, uh, gloves you can also roll flat damage on these and that is going to be very very powerful early whether you, to attacks or to spells so speaking of amulets something that you can do for amulets early on that a lot of people don't know is that you can anoint them there are lots of very very cheap anoints these cheap anoints will give you movement speed for example so something like this fangs of the viper it requires uh, like the, the clear one the whatever they call the blue one and the turquoise one i don't know what, what the colors are but uh, are called but uh, increased chaos damage increased movement speed increased physical damage that's super powerful you can get movement speed attack speed cast speed from the harrier you can get so many different modifiers you can get resistances you can get life you can get whatever you want at the anoint that i really like very early on is something like this for melee leveling. If you're leveling with strike skills, you can anoint tribal fury on an amulet that you're going to be using for a while. And it gives you right away a second target. Like for example, if you're using frost blades for leveling, this is super, super powerful. So there are a lot of different cool tricks you can do like that. You can anoint, for example, frenzy charge on kill with minimum frenzy charges or endurance, whatever you like, right? So there are so many different options that are pretty much like build enabling like especially when we look at something like the tribal fury right so there are so many really really cool options uh, i definitely like these anoints and if i'm running with something like karui ward and here i have like a replica karui ward i put some cheap attribute catalysts on it anoint uh, aoe and aoe damage and this is a super powerful amulet for leveling 
Um, then we also have flasks. Flasks are something that you can pre-roll and put quality on them. This is going to significantly improve like your uptime. So we got increased charge recovery and we've got also 20% quality and this is going to last more and it's basically going to make sure that I'm going quicker and I have these flasks up all the time. So that's another thing you can very cheaply pre-prepare right so that's something that you can do uh, weapons like preparing weapons here you can see i went a little bit overboard um, basically i am going to be leveling a cleave slayer okay so on saturday tomorrow from from releasing this video uh tomorrow at around 10 a.m eu time i'm going to tweet about it as well i'm going to be leveling a slayer cleave character with all of this leveling gear this is basically all prepared for that one single character so it's going to be the most epic leveling stream event you've ever seen so make sure to tune into that but you can see the amount of weapons i prepared so we got level one weapon then we got tons of weapons and some of the things you can look for weapons are for example corruptions but you gotta be careful for the required levels because normally this sword requires level 12 the corruptions uh, add a ton of damage and make it do more damage than it could normally do even with perfect rolls and also the increased area of effect is something that i'm really interested in so i'm getting aoe aoe here um, but you want to make sure that you don't have uh, these uniques corrupted with something that increases the item level you want to be careful for the item levels right so another example i have here is this right thrill steel is a super powerful helmet that gives you onslaught right so from level 18 you can equip this and you have perma onslaught on your character including in town so this is very very powerful and some of the uh, annoyance you can look on so sorry some of the corruptions you can look on these are going to be like plus two level of socketed gems uh, so in this one i will put my auras my heralds and i will have plus two to their level and i will also have a 90 percent cost and mana reservation multiplier which means that's basically as if i'm using enlighten right enlighten support Support, but I don't actually need the actual enlightened support so this is something that you can look for different corruptions on the items that don't increase item level another super powerful corruption is the hex on hit corruption right so we've got cursed enemies with elemental weakness on hit with 44% increased effect on the Hrimsaru blows so I'm going to be converting all my damage to cold so I'm going to be using Hrimsaru's from level 9 and then from level 24 I can actually use the curse on hit one so i will be doing a bunch of elemental damage so elemental weakness on hit is great you can get despair you can get other elemental hexes on hit and this is super super powerful they're available from level 24 which is the same level that you would normally be able to use the curses from so it makes no difference except it basically automates it and it's pretty cheap to find this on uniques there are a bunch of like leveling uniques cheap low uh, level requirement uniques that you can find these on very cheaply buy it for like 5 chaos 10 chaos and it's going to increase your damage tremendously while leveling uh, what else do we have we have things like for example the salio sign right so the salio sign has been uh, i think it has been buffed as well to be a little bit more on par with the uh, replica salio sign so the replica one um, makes it so that you cannot freeze with your cold damage but it deals more damage right so it deals a little bit more damage against chilled enemies and a little bit more damage with spells and attacks this is a huge amount of damage the ones uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna be using are like perfectly rolled in terms of the damage catalyzed for elemental damage modifiers so you see instead of 40 to 60 it is 48 to 72 and then 12 to 24 cold damage they also give you ton of evasion which is very very nice they also make it uh, so that i cannot be chilled and uh, they're very very powerful so the salio sign and replica to salio sign are very very powerful for leveling and since we're speaking about replicas there's also replica prism weave and prism weave so prism weave uh, gives you flat damage to attacks as you can see here we've got increased elemental damage of attacks uh, flat damage and this is all increased as well by the catalyst so i have the elemental damage catalyst applied to it which is going to increase the flat damage even further give me all res and then with the replica you can do the same thing for spells um, another thing uh, that we have here is the tier of purity so tier of purity recently had the requirement uh, like level requirement lowered which is absolutely insane so this amulet now gives you purity of elements which gives you all elemental resistances and it gives you immunity to ailments if you want to never die never be frozen never be ignited never be shocked while leveling this is a super powerful item with this and with gold rim your resistances are going to be perma capped 
you're not going to need any other resistances or any on any other pieces of gear you're, this is also giving you tons of attributes it's giving you life this is the perfect leveling amulet this is making your character unkillable solving all of your gear issues and you can just worry about damage and like replacing your weapon or or just having plus two levels of spell gems or whatever else you want this is an insanely powerful item uh, and i definitely recommend trying at least once leveling with this it's gonna change your life like you, you're just gonna be immune to damage you're just gonna be perma capped on resistances immune to all the ailments never worry about getting frozen even without wearing wanderlust it's super super powerful uh, other items uh, here we have these rings but there are also other rings that you can use for leveling praxis is a very cool option for lowering the mana cost it goes up to eight percent and then you can also use catalyst for life and mana which which are going to increase this further so you can get it to like uh, nine or minus nine or minus ten to total mana cost of skills so this can potentially solve all of your mana issues for your character um, another thing to solve all of your mana issues for your character is to use a replica conquerors efficiency so i'm personally going to be grabbing like i'm going to be leveling and heading toward like this and it's just going to be costing me two points to put this jewel in so usually you can be somewhere around jewel sockets and it's going to cost you two points to grab this and it's going to save your life because it's going to make it so that you don't need to life run mana flask you can run something else instead another quicksilver uh, some damage flask maybe a jade maybe a granite and it's going to give you um, more options it's going to make your character more fluid not have to worry about mana and it's very very powerful this costs like 20 chaos last i check it's actually 35 chaos i need to run more heist um so so this is a very very powerful option that can also lower the mana costs um other things that you can do uh, are for example alternate quality gems so there are specific alternate quality gems that are very very cheap they cost like 5 to 10 chaos uh, because they're very very common and they're not really usable for anything else other than leveling so there are specific things that you might want to get for example um anomalous added cold so i wanted my character to have an extra chance to freeze because i'm going to be running with precise technique where i cannot crit so i want some extra chance to freeze so i'm running that for example right so there are a bunch of different things you can do with alternate quality gems i'm for example going to be leveling with divergent cleave which is giving me 40 percent increased aoe with my two-handed weapon tons of different alternate quality gems and in general quality gems are very very cheap right if i wanted to find let's see uh, let's grab some kind of okay added fire 20 quality it costs three chaos right three to five chaos to get like 20 quality gem and it's going to give you a bunch of extra um, improvements for your characters like 10 percent increased damage uh, this is giving me 10 percent increased attack and cast speed bunch of different modifiers like that early on are super powerful because early on before you have a ton of increased modifiers the increase are basically acting like more modifiers right if you just have like base damage and you do 10% increase, that's like 10% more, right? So early on, these increases are actually very, very powerful. So quality is actually very powerful early on on your gems. So if you want to be leveling and you can get some like cheap quality gems, if you found them, if you have like, let's say the gem tab and you found some level 20 quality gems, check if you have something that you're going to be leveling with. Uh, like for example, shield charge, that's going to give you extra movement speed, right? Why not level with one that has the quality and be faster? So that's another thing that you can use. What else I haven't covered flasks there is a, a very cool um, craft that you can put on them the enchant with the instilling orbs which you can also put from your crafting bench which uh, gives you the option to have the flask used when an adjacent flask is used so if i'm at this stage where i no longer need a mana flask where i'm killing monsters pretty quickly and i'm sustaining them very well i can just have this where i'm using one flask and all of them get used and i have my granite my jade my crit flask or amethyst flask and then quicksilver all used at the same time i have like duration or increased charge recovery on them to get them back faster and it definitely makes it much easier to just have the flasks up all the time without having to press all of the buttons and um i think i covered everything here pretty much uh we covered this we covered the rings uh, we covered this uh, later on like for example for my character i'm going to be picking up on this on the S slayer cleave character i'm going to be picking up hatchet master which gives me chance to get onslaught on kill and also i'm going to be picking up graceful assault more chance for onslaught on kill so at some point i'm going to have to take off this helmet and i'm going to swap it 
for one that has life and resistances. So you can very uh, easily search, just put maximum level requirement of whatever you want on trade website and search for some resistances and life and maybe an empty suffix. And you can craft something like this. You can like buy it for two chaos, uh, put a three chaos craft on it and you have a super powerful leveling item that is gonna get you from act six to the maps and it's going to help you like fix your resistances, make your character more tanky and save you time in general. And then you just, just make a grab a tab where you just put leveling items uh, and you're gonna have this for a new character so instead of selling them you take it off you can do the same thing with like flus uh, with like wand crafts right this is something i should probably mention as well because uh maybe someone is new and doesn't know if you're leveling a caster there's a super powerful craft that you should be using uh where you can get a wand so let's say we grab this wand okay and then we can grab um any iron ring if you pick up an iron ring you can grab either a red green or a blue gem and you can vendor them together and with red gem it's going to give you a ruby ring with green gem it's going to give you topaz ring and then with uh blue it's going to give you sapphire ring right so let's say you're leveling with like some lightning skill okay so you want the lightning topaz ring so you get the lightning topaz ring uh, and now you have your wand, right? What you wanna do is you wanna get a magic wand, okay? So you wanna have a magic wand, you wanna have one alteration, and then you wanna have a topaz ring, right? So with that topaz ring, we're going to be able to craft uh, flat damage, right? So wand, magic wand, just a magic wand, uh, topaz ring, normal quality, right? And then orb of alteration, and that gives me a uh, uh, wand that gives me Two to 21 um, lightning damage to spells. This flat lightning damage to spells is a huge amount. Early on, if you equip one or two ones like this, they're going to basically double your damage. And then they also have an empty suffix, which means you can craft some resistances on it as well, right? For like one transmutation, you can craft uh, like 15 to 20 res on this as well. So that's one option. Uh, and that requires level eight, right? So if you look at this, this wand requires level 8. So you do this at level 8, you do this right before killing Brutus, for example, right? Or right after killing Brutus. Uh, the next one is if the ring is magic. If the ring is magic, then that gives me level 14 craft. That is slightly more uh, lightning damage to spells. Uh, you can do this at level 14, right? Because it's gonna that's it's what it's gonna require. And then if you make this rare, if this is a rare ring, that's going to be level 20 requirement. And that's going to be basically something that can carry you to maps. So you get a get a wand like this, and then you also craft some res on this. So you go to your crafting bench, boom, put whatever uh, res you want on it, right? And then now you have a weapon that is gonna basically carry you to map. So do this on something that already has good sockets, like three link with good sockets that you want, and that's going to carry you. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the leveling. Hopefully this is helpful. It's It makes it really, really quick and easy to level with these items. Uh, some of them can require a little bit more investment, uh, but if you have the currency and uh, if, you're, if you're bored, if you just wanna go quickly through the campaign and wanna have fun with whatever skill you're using, I definitely recommend doing this it's so fun it makes you feel like a god while, while just destroying everything no matter what build you're playing it doesn't have to be a meta build so i'm gonna be playing cleave saturday tomorrow 10 a.m eu time make sure to tune in into the stream we're gonna be leveling giga chad cleave slayer uh, hopefully this video helped you uh, good luck leveling and see you next time bye bye